my video for August 24th, 2017 is entitled The Honest Abe Deception. Wow. Yesterday, a friend sent me an article entitled The Lincoln Myth, Ideological Cornerstone of the America Empire by Thomas DiLorenzo. It opens with this quotation, quote, Lincoln is theology, not historiology. He is a faith. He is a church. He is a religion. And he has his own priests and accolades, most of whom are passionately opposed to anybody telling the truth about him, with rare exceptions. You can believe what you can't believe what any major Lincoln scholar tells you about Abraham Lincoln and race, end quote. That's by Lerone Bennett Jr. forced into glory, Abraham Lincoln's white dream. It is posted on Paul Craig Roberts' website. As I said, wow, is everything I've ever learned a lie? All my life I've thought of Lincoln as a hero who fought to end slavery. Of course, the winners tell the story. And if I'm learning anything at this stage in my life, I'm learning that many of the truisms I've believed most of my life are simply not true. I've got to make a little correction here. I get a wrong letter again. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Folks, it's not even five o'clock yet this morning, and I've been awake for nearly two hours. Actually, what am I saying? I've been awake over two hours. What am I? I'm not thinking clearly yet, even though I've been awake all that time. Um, anyway, uh, it was. It's interesting because. I was with my grandson yesterday afternoon before I had read this article, and uh, I actually made a video. I was I was reciting Lincoln's Gettysburg Address, four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth in this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Lincoln didn't believe that. <laughs> he didn't believe that. Just as in all the wars that have been fought, the winners are the ones that tell the story and spin it to favor their agenda. And Lincoln represented the bankers. He was the first bar attorney to Occupy the White House. As far as I know, there were other, there were lawyers before, but I guess they weren't bar attorneys. Uh, they weren't part of the British accredited registry because America, remember, was trying to become free from European, especially British, control. So things were not uh, at the beginning what they became. Uh, at Lincoln's time and thereafter. I don't know if I, I don't know how many of these, I have a paper here printed that has quotes uh, from the book. And let me just say this, I will read some of it. I don't think I'm going to read it all. Uh, Lear, Lerone Bennett Jr who was the author of that quotation that I read in the blurb, was the executive e editor of Ebony Magazine for several decades, beginning in 1958. He is a distinguished African-American author of numerous books, including a biography of Martin Luther King Jr. He spent 20 years researching and writing his book, Forced Into Glory, Abraham Lincoln's White Dream, from which he drew the above conclusion about the so-called Lincoln scholars and how they have lied about Lincoln for generations. 
For obvious reasons, Mr. Bennett is incensed over how many lies have been told about Lincoln and race. Few Americans have ever been taught the truth about Lincoln and race, but it is all right there in the collected works of Abraham Lincoln and in his reaction and in his actions and behavior throughout his life. For example, he said the following, free them, the slaves, and make them politically and socially our equals. My feelings will not admit of this. We cannot make them equals. I'm not going to read any more of the quotes. There's a, there's a number of them, and uh, I'm going to somehow provide the link for this um, so that people that choose can follow it up and see for themselves. But as I said, it, it breaks my heart to learn just one more thing of the lies that I've believed. I've known that it's the winners that tell the story in wars. I've recognized that, uh, that the allies in World War II and in World War I were not what we were told. Um, because we, we, the United States, has been supposedly on the winning side. We, the, the North, in the Civil War, were supposedly on the winning side. But the, as I look at it now, the rebels, the Confederacy, were the ones that were upholding the higher ideals. And the lower ideals are always about controlling the money, controlling people, enslaving all of humanity, because that's what money does. It makes us slaves. And it can be used temporarily to free us, but if we're not careful, and if we keep trying to hang on to it, it will once again enslave us, because it gives a false perception of wealth. Wealth is not measured, spiritual wealth, is not measured by how much money is accumulated. Spiritual wealth is measured by our ability to love, to think outside the box, to build bridges and tear down walls. That's the true wealth. That's the true power that I believe we're supposed to have but we don't have it because we've been lied to and we've bought into the lies. I mean, I can't believe how many of the things I thought were absolute truth are not. I, I have trouble getting my mind around what I read about Lincoln in, in this article. And I didn't read the book. I've never seen the book, but Paul, uh, they say Paul Roberts, uh, Paul Craig Roberts. He he posted it as a guest as a guest article on his on his website. It's something we need to look at, folks. We need to have many of our misconceptions corrected, because ultimately it's only the truth that's going to liberate us and set us free to live lives that we're capable of living if we weren't enslaved within our minds, if our hearts weren't bound up with, with prejudice and, and hatred of other groups, other religions, all the ways that we have used and have been used to divide us from each other and to keep us from working together for a common good of our own, of our own freedom, of our own ability to choose life and to help one another and to work together. It's so sad to me that we have been so lied to that we live on a planet of lies. When are we going to be able to wake up and start working together for good? That's what I ask and I hope it's soon. Thank you for listening and namaste.